We welcome you back to tjwalker.com. This is our live question and answer period. As you know, every day at 2 p.m., we take your questions live at tjwalker.com, or if you're watching this on demand, type in your question and we'll be sure to get to it. TJ, burning up the internet chat rooms, and we get this one from answers.com. It's about John Boehner's appearance last night on 60 Minutes. Question relates to, well, the waterworks. He was interviewed by Leslie Stahl and the crying and shall we say the blubbering ensued. And you know, this is, he's certainly no stranger to crying on election night. He cried and quite a bit of uh, sobbing went on as well. But the questioner from answers.com wants to know, is this good? Should he be showing his emotions like this? Well, he does seem a bit, shall we say, promiscuous with his cry. And it, it, it happens a little too frequently, but to his credit, he doesn't apologize for it. He doesn't act embarrassed. He doesn't act ashamed. He says, hey, that's who I am. And if you're going to have a situation like this where you show emotions out of the ordinary, I think his approach is the best way, which is to not apologize, don't get defensive, don't attack people for bringing it up. Just say, eh, that's who I am. Now, if he does this on a regular basis, if there are new crying bouts on every single piece of legislation, yeah, I think after a while, people will start to feel like he's an unstable person. But at the moment, he is still a blank slate for most Americans. And he still has a possibility of crafting a very solid, positive image for himself. He doesn't really have much of an image, positive or negative, at the moment. TJ, someone who has not really had the best public image, Donald Rumsfeld, he's now taking to social media. He is promoting his new book. and. Someone who we think of as very, very old school is now taking to Twitter and Facebook to promote his book. And some of our viewers want to know, can you teach an old dog new tricks? Well, apparently so, because Don Rumsfeld is at it. He's tweeting, or someone on his staff or at his PR firm for his book, they are tweeting, they're doing Facebook status updates. He is engaging people. Now, when you have name ID as big and as powerful as Don Rumsfeld, even if the vast majority of people hate you, doesn't matter when you're selling a book. Far better to be, far better to be hated by 200 million and have 3 million people like you enough to buy your book. That's enough to make you a bestseller. So it does show that anyone can get involved with social media. As we talked about in the last segment, there is now a homeless advocate in Washington who is in fact homeless has almost 5,000 Facebook fans. Do you have 5,000 Facebook fans? I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. Not quite there yet. So Don Rumsfeld, he, he is engaging. He's not just sitting on his laurels. Now, I'm not getting into politics now. I'm not going to relitigate the war. But Rumsfeld is a, an extraordinarily fascinating character. When you look at how he was the oldest Secretary of Defense ever, but also the youngest Secretary of Defense ever. and what he did is, you know, in his early 30s as a member of Congress, I mean, he's had a long, long, long career. And while he still has that sort of that brill cream look and attitude about him, I think anyone who says he's not a bright man is in for a surprise. We'll see how the new book comes out. TJ, certainly no doubting that Steve Wozniak, the former Founder of Apple is not a bright man, or is a bright man, I should say, but now he is. I did date Kathy, Kathy Griffin. So. He did, he did. So that with that, there's a little bit suspect to, uh, to his taste in women, at the very least. So he's now come out, and this question coming to us from geeko.com, one of the users there. And Wozniak has come out and said that we're too reliant on social media. TJ, isn't this like someone from the Anheuser-Busch company coming out, one of the founders and the relatives saying, hey, wait a minute, we have a drinking problem here in America. <laughs> It does seem a bit rich, I have to say. Now, he is a fascinating, interesting character, Wozniak. Retired back in 87, what all he does with his spare time, I'm not completely sure. I was sympathetic in reading this story about him, but then I got to the paragraph where he concedes that at all times he carries between five and 10 cell phones. Well, yes, your life is gonna be consumed with technology if you're carrying around five or 10 cell phones. It used to be, Enough for me to have to have, you know, an, an, I, a, well, an iPod and a phone and a camera. That was too much. Thankfully, I've compressed everything now in just an iPhone. Steve, if you want to simplify your life, get one phone. That's my advice. TJ, that's all the time that we have today for questions and answers. And again, we're here live every day at 2 p.m. or on demand on the video playing service that you're watching right now. I'm Mike Baco for TJ Walker. <laughs>